What's going on everyone? Snow Cover Plains Walker here coming to y'all with another product review. This one is on something a little bit different. These are custom life counters by Spellbound Gaming uh, on eBay. I'm actually going to post a link to their store uh, in the description down below. So if you guys want to go check them out, you can. Um, but yeah, I'm actually want to go ahead and review these uh, life counters for y'all. This one I actually ordered for myself and had it custom done for me. However, uh, full disclosure, these two were actually sent to me with the uh, the intention of being reviewed. So these were sent to me to be reviewed. However, I do want to go ahead and note that all my opinions are going to be my own. Uh, they didn't ask me to say anything specific about them other than the details of how they were made, so on and so forth, what little bit of details I was able to get. Um, so you don't have to worry that I'm going to talk the product up because they were sent to me for review. Uh, I've been reviewing for a very long time on my other channel, uh, Cutlery Novice, where I review knives and other similar gear. And I'm going to review these products just as honestly as I would review anything I did on that channel. So first off, let's just go ahead and talk price. Uh, you can; These are generally sold anywhere from $12 to $17 if you want one that's already made. Uh, you can have custom life counters made with art of your choosing however depending on the price of the card you will have to pay additional money for that for that life counter um, in addition to that you'll have to pay for the labor of them going out and creating one custom for you uh, so you may end up paying anywhere between 20 to 25 dollars for something uh, fairly affordable now that being said that is still a great price considering what these are most reminiscent of and to me these are very reminiscent of the life counter that came in the commander's arsenal set as you can see it will track all the way up to 99 life okay and obviously you can track it anywhere else i use them for commander for the most part so i pretty much tend to leave mine on 40. let's go ahead to show you some of the details of the product so this one obviously being the oath of jace art And don't worry, the majority of these are not made by cutting up real magic cards. They're made by cutting up tip cards uh, for the most part. So I guess they are real magic cards, but they're not playable, uh, actual competitive Magic the Gathering cards. Most of them are made with tip cards. Um, here you can see my uh, counter I had made for me, uh, for my Baron Sangir Commander deck. This one was actually made by cutting up two Baron Sangirs. So these are very reminiscent of the Commander's Arsenal Life Counters, which generally tend to sell for anywhere between $40 to $50 per counter. So that being said, having something that functions the exact same way, however, reflects artwork that you happen to prefer, prefer for your Commander deck, I feel is very, very much worth it in the long run over the Commander's Arsenal versions. Now, uh, you can see the Baron Sanger one I had done is black with... Um, some sparkles inlaid onto it. I'm pretty sure you can get them done uh, without the sparkle features. I haven't seen one done yet that wasn't, but I'm sure they could do so. Um, you can choose the color of the life counter that you want done, as well as now they've recently started doing transparent counters. So you can kind of see through here. So if you're a big fan of the translucent material or if you're a big fan of the solid material, and I'll go ahead and get you a side by side. You can have it done whichever way you prefer. Okay, you can kind of see the the difference in the colors there. Now, there are some issues with these because they are handmade products. Number one is the quality is not always super consistent. Not saying that, that the, any of these are worse quality than the others per se, but just certain features or certain uh, issues of fit and finish that differ between the products. Out of the three here, the one that has the best fit and finish is the Oath of Jace. It locks in fairly securely whenever you move your uh, life total. It's not too free moving, but it's also not super stiff. In addition, there's no squeaking or squealing as I rotate the counter. My Baron Sanger one, however, the one I had custom made, is much looser than the others. It has much looser tolerances. Okay, so I find this one to accidentally slide over a little bit too far when I hit the certain numbers. Oh, focus, focus. Stupid camera. Give it a second. Camera's acting up.
All right, hold up. There we go. Sorry about that. Definitely not my most professional review, but I want to go ahead and get it out there anyways. Um, but yeah, the tolerances on this Baron Sanger counter are significantly looser. Okay, you guys can see that. I'm barely, barely, barely touching it, and it's rotating. Yeah, that would not happen on this. It's barely budging as I rotate back and forth with my finger the same amount of effort. Now, the translucent one that they most recently did to me has another issue, and that is, while it's nice and tight, listen to this. Now, that's nothing too major. You can just drop some oil down here in between the two dials. However, it is something I wanted to note as it came from the seller. But overall, these issues are very minor considering what you are paying for and the quality of product you are getting and the wide variety of options you have. If you'd like to see more counters that they currently already have made ready for your purchase, check in the description down below to see a link to the seller's store. And don't be shy to shoot the seller a PM and ask them to make you your own live counter. They will happily do it. However, be aware that if you uh, want a uh, art specific artwork that isn't available on a tip card or otherwise trash card, you will have to spend the full price for two copies of that card to be cut up and used for your life counter. So please keep that in mind. You absolutely can get the From the Vault Nickel Bolus in foil done on your life counter, but be ready to spend over $100 for it. If you're okay with that, well, then by all means, definitely check out uh, the Spellbound Gaming store on eBay. Again, link in the description down below. And I do recommend the product. If I had to give it a grade uh, TCC style, I would say these are ranked at a B minus. Not bad considering what you're paying for them. The minor quality issues are there, but that is, it is a handmade product. And by the way, they were very specific to tell, uh, for me to tell you guys that these are not 3D printed. Okay? So these are just all done by hand, which is why there is some quality control issue with them. However, I honestly feel like the quality control issues are negligible when you actually take a look at the quality and unique pro uh, qualities of the product you are purchasing. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, I'll see you later.